All right, so once you turn mouse tractor on, set it for whatever you want it to click at. You can do 10 per second, 10 per minute. We'll just leave it at 10 per second. You can start it by clicking start, stop it by clicking stop, or you can hit Windows and Z on your keyboard, and you'll see that stops it. And then all you have to do is go out and wherever your cursor goes, you will basically go ahead and plow or harvest or whatever you want to do. If you miss a spot, just go right back over it, no problem. Um, you need to be careful you don't run too far off the farm or on other icons because a lot of the icons do different things if you click over the name. But Otherwise, you just move your mouse around. If you want to stop it, Windows and Z again, move the farm or the screen wherever you want, come back in, turn it back on. You can tell it's running because that icon follows you around. If you don't like the icon, uh, you can shut it off. You can move it closer or further from the mouse. And again, just move the farm and work it like you normally would. You can also set mouse tractor to go quicker. So you could set it, let's say, at 20 times a second. Um, if you hit start on this, you're going to get a, a message that says, warning you selected mouse tractor to click faster than 10 times per second. It's basically telling you to kind of proceed at your own risk. It shouldn't hurt anything, but you want to make sure you know that's what you're going to do. If you do want to, you can proceed at your own risk. Just hit OK. Then all you got to do is hit start. And it's now clicking 20 times a second. I'd experiment with what you're trying to do. Um, if you're harvesting, I think you can do it at the higher speeds. It seems like if you're um, cutting trees down or, or doing something that takes a little bit more time, it, it's unnecessary. But feel free to play with it and get it to work. And that's how Mouse Tractor works.